I think our whole company model can be for you. Hello, good afternoon. Are we audible? Yes, Professor, you are audible now. Thank you. Happy New Year to all of you. Hello, all of you. Happy New Year. Hey, you also. Right? Wish you same. Thank you, sir. Same, Professor. Happy New Year. So, this New Year, we have to assess your performance. <laughs> the subject is going to be performance. Okay. My Okay. Okay. Now, what is the show? I thought you are going to wait for the presentation. I can keep sitting at the back and the side. No, I always thank you for you know. You guys will show last moment. Okay. Sir, and you have all the right. Okay. Now, what is the topic for today? What have we covered so far? We covered initial meaning. The first scope and domain of the charm here. Yes. I hope you understood it. It's not simply a charm, it is more of a business. Yes. Second, we touched on. We touched upon the three charts, like the other line said, all those things, so that you don't make a mistake. Then, in the process, we also went in deep and hands on how to create a carrier. Yes. Third, then we touched upon framing it. Okay. Now, fourth is obviously assessment. I've already recruited you. I've already given a care to you. Thank you. Now I have that green part. I don't know the green or not. I want to pass. Now we are going to discuss about peers performance. Well. Now what is it? Do you need it? Yes. Why wait? Uh, okay, let us take it to group. You are not implying. You are ready. Right. You are ready. Right. 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 This guy is an implied. From your point of view, why do you need On the instrument, are you getting my point? We are discussing about performance management system because the year is over. Now you have to assess and grade it. Right? Hello, online. Yeah, because of performance management, you are not saying yes or no. This is carry thing. Okay. Tell me that. Company assigned, the employer assigned, the carrier okay. and the KPA. I mean, audible. Hello, say something. Yeah, how, how do I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible. Audible. So now you are audible. Please stay near to the mic, sir. Oh, please. that is fine. That is why I checked up. I have a great experience. Though all of you are here, I think I have put together much younger than all your needs. Right? Okay. Now, why do we need it? So from the employee point of view, our company has uh, given the here in the KPA clarity. <coughs> and uh, to prove them, uh, the, this evaluation uh, process is very good. In case we are not up to the mark in terms of performance, we can see it can focus. Do you think as an employee of the need one? Yes. Need, yeah. Is it uh, so far it's a joyful journey or it's a scary journey? It's in between. It's in between, right? So we have to make it a joyful journey. That, that's what you want to right? From the employee's point of view, what do you need that? From my point of view, uh, there are implied and implied. Yeah, what do you mean? Implied. For my company uh, strategy, whether I am uh, achieving those uh, by getting the uh, desired outcome by the whatever the implies, whether I am, am I going to achieve those strategies, strategic goals or not. So that to to yeah. ascertain that we need the. I think we can have a strong coffee today. Right? We have to speak to the point. Right? Don't you think so? Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's a very good point. People normally don't say motivates. It's a carry. One more annual ritual has come. So two points will come. One what kind of said, how your PMS can be like oh, getting this good, it is motivated. <laughs> no, that, that is what your job, my job, no? The corporate guys, we are making it scary. We are making it annual ritual. We are making it class. We are making it paint. That's one side. Am I right, Lala? The other side, both of them, they said single word is very difficult, very important. Like he said, no, he said motivated. Can you make it as a you know pleasurable journey? So now to make it to that one, like long live and dead. PMS, whether a scary animal ritual or a love and fun, we have to reach that one, right? Now, how you take to this level? My student, whether you are going to assess or you are going to assess this, you have to make this. To to that reach level, right? Level, 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 not an annual ritual. So far to get into the level, 
The first question is, what are we going to learn from this one? Let us set the learning for clear. Correct. What are you going to learn? Tell me. Anybody like to write here or you take a dictation? Dictation. Okay. What are we going to learn on this subject? I talked out 10 subjects. Do you have anything in mind? Tell me. Maybe that I modify it or it's already there with me. What is that we should learn when I have to shift from not a animal, carry ritual, it has to be a lover, smart, happy, implies happy that I achieved it because of good mobility, good motivation, good fun, good increment, all those things. Imply the happy, like he said, my corporate goals are achieved, my productive things are not. It has to be. Both imply and imply has to be happy at the end of the day, not to be ritual. Okay. Now, to understand, this is the same way, right? All of us clear with the, you know, the background, context of this. Now, to understand this context, what are the objectives we have to learn? Right? Otherwise, when we all talk stories, India is known for all gossiping, political talk, and all, right? At the end of the day, when I don't know, one of us will be able to see if I can complete one of I go to the neighbor, I'll always be What are we supposed to do? Can you say one by one? The fair amount of roles and the Okay, fair amount of rules and responsibility. No, I want to set out the learning objectives. Sir, at the end of the class, I must have learned this much. But you have given the role of priority to the employer side. So to evaluate uh, whether uh, the employees perform uh, or not. Or not. Okay, sure. to set it, I will give you the new order. Because if you I say it, probably not. The first objective is right now. Why do we need people? The first objective, if you learn 10 objectives, you will be through. One, two. So, first one. Why first one is why do we need PMS? Mm. If it doesn't matter, what will happen? Right? Let's understand. Yeah. Two, what is the evolution of this PMS? Where it started, where it got stuck up, where it is today, where you are looking forward in future. Evolution. Correct? Right? Yes, sir. The third is, what is the objective of this PMS? What will lead to the first one? Okay, third. Fourth is, as we are talking about performance, performance. What do you mean by performance? If you are clear about the word performance, the domain of performance, then only the review of performance takes place, right? Yes. If you are not even clear about the performance word, Performance is jumping, crying, dancing, what? So, what is the performance domain as, as usual in a contextual framework model? I mean, performance can be explained in different models, but we know what is it? Then, then we also talk about performance, the next point, fifth point. Performance planning management cascading is down. I'll explain each one. First of all, let's be very clear with the objective, then I'll explain. Probably you want to add, we will add the objective. When I say performance planning is top down or the other way, top down. Top down. so that is what the learning curve cast is doing. We are having performance because to achieve the projected profit, to get into the new market, to get into the new market. So that has to, you have a five year strategy plan. All those things to be achieved through performance, not through individual, it comes down from that. So, what is the cascading performance planning? Then? Six. Okay. Then the seventh is what are the methods? The seventh, sixth is what are the performance management methods? How do you measure? So the bar system, so the 360 degree, the 160 degree, what are, what are the methods are available? What are the pros and cons? And where which system can be? Right? Are we clear? And the other one, seventh one is what is the performance management process? How do you? You know, structure of process to have a PMS system. The other one is there's a concept of hello effect. And say much hello effect. Meaning by you intend to do anything, but there are some mistakes you do it. The ninth is what should be the strategic PMS system? Like, for example, when they say it should be more objective, more subjective, the duration should be three months, six months, one year, you know, 
which companies what kind of strategic shifts are needed? The tenth one is finally, how do you conclude and link it? Do you link it with incentives, promotion? Do we link with the assessment center? Do we link it with appreciative inquiry? So these are the short of 10 learning objectives I thought you should learn for this lecture. Do you want anything more? Ninth one was strategic objective of PMS, meaning why? Right? You cannot have you know anything ever did. Small organization, research organization, sales organization, what kind of subjective system or objective system, duration of the system, all has to be strategically designed. That is the ninth one. Otherwise, it's a Jubar kind of system. No? You are not somebody sitting in the market selling. You are a professional. Yeah. Okay. The tenth one I said, how do you finally link it? Again, should I link it with incentive, bonus, promotion, yes or no? Or should I link it with more development methods called assessment center, appreciative inquiry? You know, those things are available. These are the 10 objectives I thought I should cover. Are you with me? Are you on that or modify? All of you got 10 objectives, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what is that? Then, you, yeah. Uh, I mean, anything that can be added for employee feedback or employee feedback. That will come in the mm -hmm. your employment uh, process of payment. In the process itself, what you say, you write it so that you are clear. Are, are you with me that 10, 10 objectives you have to learn? Yes. So if you want to add anything, like he said, sir, what he said comes under the process. We'll talk about that. Any objectives you want to add? Unbiased. Sorry? Unbiased. Yeah. Uh, that it comes into hello. You know, you can you normally you may take a school thing about it. Oh. Any other objective you think you should, you should learn. At the end of the day, out, out of this 10 objective, even one, one, two points are clear with you. Nobody can beat you. Even the guys, I mean, with all due respect, all the HR professional, the guys with 10 years experience will not have that kind of knowledge and approach which you at the end of the board. So that is what the ambitious learning goal I want to set. Correct. So anything else you want to add? It takes to avoid to oh, Okay, you can, you can take where, where it can come. The mistakes to avoid. You take 11 point. Yeah. The checklist. Both point. You want 11 point checklist and mistakes to be avoided. Please come, please come. Any other point? Right, now let's go this way. Any other point? Anybody like that? Or can we start taking the discussion? How to, take, how to tackle a difficult conversation at the time of appraisal? Right now, sir, there are two points you are trying to give me. One, what did you say? That checklist and mistake. Two is that how to handle a difficult employer or non performer. Very good point. I'm happy. These are the specific issues. How will you handle a non performer how, or a difficult employer? There's a part of cascading down. Also. Cascading down is will tell you clearly about how you're going to break it down. But still, not all those things, there are some guys will, with all the rationality, also be a different. Yes, it can be still part of that. Yeah, it can be part of that. But it's a good point. Yeah. I mean, if you don't bother to handle those guys, difficult guys. No, sometimes the out of 10 percent of difficult guys, five, six percent of guys could be a very good performance. The four percent of guys would be for the sake of creating they are creating. There are five percent of people, they would be go getters. They can really turn around. So we should know how to handle this. That takes care of it if you have the right process properly, you have the right feedback system. But point raised by him is a very what else? Anybody online students? What about retention? Retention. Oh, you can say that. Um, okay, we write on certain. What could be the outcome of the payment? I think whatever this three points you are writing, I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Outcome could be, yeah, at the end of the day, I must have a satisfied, competent employees with a lesser pressure. Can we do that? Yeah, conclusion. 
it is a little bit uncertain, but again, we raise it as a specific stress model. You can write them um, because you know attrition is a very important thing for the government. If you are able to control attrition through right PMS, most of the time PMS only triggers <laughs> right. That's the point. PMS triggers attrition. Uh, attrition. The other way around, can PMS can reduce attrition? Yes, that is the point here. That is the point, right? You write it down. Any other point? That is why MBA classes are not supposed to be here. You guys are supposed to come. Yes, we come in one side. We come and give this kind of questions, then we'll be able to jointly form and let go of the side. I mean, rather, we can add literature to the books. What is that read from the books? I don't believe in this case. We should give literature to the books. Right? That is what our portfolio is done. Okay, what else? Online student, anything you want to add? No, most will come back. This becomes easier for us. Okay, if you are not adding this one, the first point, what is PMS? What is PMS? PMS is cost performance management system. What is performance management system? The company has to perform. Budgetary achievement, the company has to achieve perform the budgetary achievement. So the performance has to be achieved overall at the top level. The performance sales management system has to be done, where do you start? Suppose you are a consultant. Are you, are you a consultant to some let's say you want to take a small company, eight company. You've been taken as a specialist, come and for the payment. Where will you start? Okay. Will you go through these existing data? Are you, are you getting me point? The first definition that you've been hired as a consultant, or you are an expert in payment system or HR. We want to strengthen the payment system. Come, where will you start? X company. In fact, last month company has told us from somewhere near there. Yes, for some small company of the internet slide or yeah. they said if any help us in some other area, probably they are asking how will we'll we'll review, we'll right. review the attrition rate uh, and the hiring rate of last one or two years. Okay. So we'll, we'll start with that. Rate, then and then maybe uh, we'll try to understand if they have a data that why the employees are leaving or what can be the reason for the downfall in the performance. So getting started with the PMA system, online student, one of your friends is saying that you go to the one aspect is the going to be the attrition rate and things like that. And look at the performance. So, throughout the past year, did and do the benchmark here throughout the industry? Okay, throughout the first year, one second year. Right. I, I'm a consultant. I've been hired for a company. So, I'll come and have a read look at it, structure my people. The question is, where will I get started? First, the first thing is you should know whether the company is looking at the same revenue margin as your company. Okay. Or you have to have an implement, implement what is looking at. What margin by what margin so that you can study through? Good point. Good. So those are the things which you should put. Then define a basis their goals. Okay. Now any company, irrespectively, they want to have more revenue, more profitability, reduction of expenses, more products to come in, right? So where do you get? If I have to be a consultant, first I'll ask them to show me a budget. Last year project, project two. What is the revenue you have? What is the revenue you want to get into? Your performance area should come from that. I mean, right now, suppose they wanted to project a two more one. So I will create a performance area based on how the revenue has to be. One simple number. The second thing is obviously profitability for revenue minus less expenses. So I will see what are the expenses to be reduced to improvement in the performance, including the efficiency. What is that? The income has come, the expenditure put in, like there are some expenditures like for example, um, uh, your interest rate may be a little difficult for you to come. Other than interest rate, a lot of attrition in wastage is wastage. So I will see the expenditure level, how it can be reduced. This is the basic operation part. That is the part of it also you look at it. Where are you trying to go next year? What kind of what kind of skill set I want, innovative behavior more I want. I want more of a cost reduction behavior. I want. I want a more of a you know revenue generation behavior. All those things you can start getting it from. So performance means performance doesn't from X Y employee. Performance start from the top. What would be revenue? What is expenditure? What is the new product? What is the new market? What is the old product? What how I move from amalgamation or collaboration? That is where I decide my performance. Five, six, ten, care. 
That is what we call it performance. Normally, your book on everybody will start other way around. You know, improving implies performance. Yes, the output is still subject right now. I don't believe right? Because at the end of the day, you are starting helping a company to perform better. It comes down to imply. But first, unless if you don't, that's what I talk about. What is performance means touching the maximizing, facilitating, assuring the company's revenue better, helping the company to reduce expenditure, helping the company to get into the new product, innovative product, more customer response. Six, seven areas are given for performance, right? That is where your performance definition comes more customer response, more productive, more production, more action oriented. This means performance. Are you clear with the definition of PMO? Yes. So it starts from the top. It, that is why you use the word I repeatedly here, cascade means top. One, we should be clear what do you mean with performance? We are clear. When we're making expenditure control, more innovation, more product, more new way getting to that. All, all those comes under the performance as well. Now, the second question I written is what is the evolution? Where this concept started? Where it started, where it is today, where it is likely to get into future. It all started with the government and the army level called confidentiality. He was trying to put at the end of the year, every officer, even today from the highest of all different. They call it confidential report, CR. At the end of the year, they will make some comment. The comment would be predominantly more on not exactly what I talked about the performance in terms of this one, what you call it, right? objectively. They will more on a behavior kind of thing. Oh, this guy is good, systematic, knowledgeable, absolutely less, reliable. You know, that kind of thing was done in a confidential way. One, it was done not as an objective matter which to be the output of the company, more on a behavior part. His attendance is good, punctuality is good, reliability is that. You know, that kind of behavior pattern they assessed it, and that took confidential. See, yeah. you will not even know. I am an oppressor, you are an oppressor, you will not know. I am oppressing it, you will not even get to know what I want. So, would it have served the purpose or not? This was the first system of PMO system in India. Do you think the system is relevant or it meets a requirement? Yes, sir. It, it needs requirement. It, it meets a requirement? It needs the request for the human. So, this was the first thing they started, which was not, uh, it was a scary and unknown ritual. And I am the boss, I can do whatever I do. And you know, it, it, especially in you know, cases like IAS and Glasgow and all, one nominal comment I write is that case will carry me go for a task. For years together to punch it, his life is gone. Which means you start behaving to be like I am the godfather. Not working for the government of India, you know, for me. Because you are very much worried this guy puts any comments. My career for the next three, four years, my promotion is pretty good. So it was not fun. It was not meeting the requirement of either objective the government objectivity or helping the employee to do it. Right? This was the first. Then the next one is. We companies we started having a call performance law, appraisal. And what is the difference between appraisal and value? The second concept we come with is performance law appraisal. Somewhat related to the yeah, okay. but we come up with a company, we come up with a little more formats. We come up with the templates, we've taken partially your output also, your customer orientation also. We also taken some of your behavior. Again, it was done at the end of the year. Some discussion with you, not full discussion. At the end of the year, it was done like a postmortem. You don't know. At the end of the year, it was done like a postmortem. Okay, this guy has performed this thing, that thing. Somewhat like here, but it was little modified appraisal. Appraising your past performance without any feedback, without any discussion, and giving a sort of postmortem. That I concluded your performance based on your output or behavior. That was the second thing. Now, the third thing is called PMS. Now, when I say that, what would be the difference between the performance of appraisal and PMS? You are, you are clear about the CR, you are clear about the appraisal. Appraisal, one side as postpartum, it was done in a way that the employee is not getting money. Now, what is PMS? We, we have entered mostly on the corporation, we are into PMS. But in the PMS also, the way in which it has to be done may not have been done. But intentionally, we all entered into PMS. 
or something like that. But how it has been done may not be that effective. Now, what is PMD? It's two way evaluation. Correct. An employer and employee. So, I'm considering three angles, I see. One is the business, people, and the process. Because when it comes to people, how individual performance it comes to business, how is the impact on company performance? It comes to process, how is the system, how I have contributed, what I have done to do that. Very well, sir. What you said is exactly. So, this is where you are mutually, the PMS is meaning where the targets have to be with the word of mutual. The KRA KP, the targets have to be mutually discussed, decided, well, in that one. Okay. Then your management reference takes place in reference to what we discussed. Not a post mortem, like we performance appraisal was, there was no expectation clear. What do you think that they're going to also? I thought you should be going to JPN or JN. So, because the expectation was not clear. It was not mutually discussed, it was not mutually decided. We presume you know, we presume I know. You know your job of sales manager, you know your job of finance manager. I also know what you are supposed to do. I assess it on the page. That was surprising. Okay. Now, in the PMS system, we are supposed to have a mutual discussion. That is what we discussed about KRA. We have a clear and clarity. The mutual expectation should be very well set. It has to be given in well in the past. Okay. Then accordingly, you start measuring people. So you come from a, that, you know, postmortem or one man approach to ad hoc kind of approach to a little rational. So now that, that is what we are studying. So most of the companies they are talking into PMS system. Now, again, when it got into PMS system, to what extent how you are getting the KRA KPS is clearly, how the PMS system working effectively, that is the thing. So this is the evolution. Are we clear so far? Now we are all getting into PMS from online also, offline also. Not necessarily only you fill the form. There are software that has come up. There are some five, six points. Your productivity changing, change management behavior, the customer orientation. So the PMS system is also getting into more lot of it. So but essentially it is that it is supposed to be, but I don't think that PMS system can be taken into software very well. Again, when you take it to software, you get into a behavior. Not behavior, the behavior in a modified manner. I've seen it, not about it. was a productive orientation, adaptation to change orientation, team orientation. You know, that if there are lakhs and lakhs of people are there and you want to assess them, there are only six, seven, ten, fifty are right there. Where it takes you, again, it takes you back to the behavioral system of that. So it, it cannot be. Maybe, okay, large scale of uh, sales output and all, it can be done. But if you want really the BMS to be one of the critical strategic tools, to get your performance, it may not be. So this is what we are here. The second point I'll be clear. So what is the third point? And what is what, uh, what, what in future? What would be the PMS and that? Right? No, no. What is the objective? Of the so third, no. What the second point? What should be the reason? You talked about past and present. What is going to be the future? Well, anybody would like to answer? Current targeting uh, the PMS in most of the. And what they do. As a namesake, we have been uh, do it as an annual uh, Ritual, that's what it's like. But usually in the organization, it happens like what are the three, four months uh, the performance happening in the ranks of the mind of the manager. So based on that, uh, they will do it. So there should be some proper system uh, should come from the start of the month to the end of the year. See, for example, I think you're right. All of you know marketing management, right? All of you are pretty important, right? Yes, what will you say? Four P. Okay. Four P is what? Product price, sales, promotion. Hmm? Product price, sales, promotion. Product price, sales, promotion. Product price, product promotion. Product, price, product, promotion, product distribution. Okay. Now, you take any product, any service, you strictly this four, you cannot fail. Lacks and lacks. Of people by books written articles, I don't need Philip Partners 4P has got extended to 7P. People also include in that. But we don't do it. Simple. Suppose you have a you want to have a product, you don't have a product. You want to, but if you without a product, you come into the market. I mean, the product of last week is too big or too small, you can see that not see that. You don't have the product. If you have the product, and then you have the price, the right price, competitive price. And you do the kind of distribution once I text it, second time I go to buy, it's not available. The distribution and the promotion. The promotion and all can only take care if you have the first four 
Okay, you have to. Right. Now, with this simple, and we have people too. Like I mean, that all the time, people first are customers. So the people only take care of all this. And then, the, like he said, process. Four plus four or two people, people and process. If all these things implemented, which business cannot do that? Tell me. Manufacturing, research, IT, anything. But we don't do it. We keep all those things. Yes, okay. You know, similarly, PMA system also, they don't get you to implement it. That's what when we come to the process of computer expansion. If they, if they implement it directly, check like we talked about the training level, we talked about it. If they get into the conceptual framework, if you get to the checklist, if they really mean it intrinsically, they will get their check. But Namkeva say they want to have a template. You can easily design a template or download a template, you can modify it and go on. So that cannot happen. So, so it, 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 according to me, go ahead and something is confusion. If this can be done very well, it's one of the biggest contributions that our head can be made. Because production, turnover, profitability, company grows one side, the employee is supposed to be happy, getting promoted, getting incentive, having the role clarity, having a level fun when working. What else can be done with it? But how to raise a problem? So now the third point, are you clear with the second point? Description. Yeah. 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 Right now in industry, what I see is ongoing performance review. So right. like six months, three months, one year. At least in my organization, a couple of other industries, pharma, at least I see ongoing meeting. Every one of them, when we have a meeting, we touch base in the company. So it's not a surprise that the post mortem is there. Ongoing business mm -hmm. that actually. What we are talking about ongoing going, it's okay. But uh, what is the basis of ongoing? It cannot be post mortem, right? Ongoing is excellent. When I, when you come to process, I'll explain it. You set the uh, mutual performance, you are ongoing checking. Again, not with an approach to control and post mortem. Whether the guy is able to do, he needs support, he needs help, he needs some more uh, training. And can I get his feedback to revise it? So if the on, ongoing take care of this one, that PM is an excellent one. Are you getting my point? The approach I set up on, for example, now it's what um, uh, January, after you were April, we are supposed to close it. So the third quarter is coming, right? The third quarter, we already set the thing. Keep on every three months, I have been watching you to get your feedback, understand your difficulty. And then revise my KRA KPA or give you support, give you some guidance. Will it improve or not? Or other way around, I only every three months I make a post quarter comment in my own bar. This guy has not achieved this quarter, not like the second quarter. Then go you call it PMS, you go back to the so Correct. Right. So that's when we come into the PMS process, I'll explain. So now the third point is what is two points you explain. What is what is the third point? Okay. What should be the object? Tell me. We have already covered a lot. What should be the objective? Tell me. What should be the objective? What should be the objective? The objective is to meet the company's uh, you know, the objectives. Okay. Two objectives, first of all. Yeah, one is one is the objective. Individual satisfaction. You have to use individual needs and satisfaction to achieve the organizational objective. Okay. Now, obviously, when you talk about organizational objective, organizational objective is what? Increasing the generation, productivity, customer consciousness, exporting more. Okay. They're taking the time on achieving the corporate planning and all those things. That should be one of the objectives. Your PMS should be a tool or a process or a practice. To help you to achieve the organization goal. That is one object. Can it be done without taking care of the individual employees' needs, work clarity, health, training, feedback? If this is not done in a developer orientation, can you achieve this one? Right. If you do only control methods, you know that just ignoring this mentally, doing this flat, having formats, having KRAs, KPAs. I'm going to do a rigorous meeting, all for the making a presentation, making a fun of you. Will it achieve that one? No. The other way, if I do more on this one, will I be able to achieve this thing with a relatively ease and comfort? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you getting my point? So these two objectives are equal. I'm not saying that when you do this thing, don't achieve that. I'm not recommending that theory. 
But if you most of the bus, like I told you, theory, except theory. You go with this one. No, PMS is not with that approach. PMS is to make sure these guys have to be measured, controlled, monitored, given feedback because they don't perform. If I don't control, if you go that way, the objective is the same, whether here or that. So it may not give you the result. So the objective of the PMS, which people not feel, if you read a book on the PMS, says, PMS is concerned with achieving the productivity and performance of the company, all those things. It doesn't say that PMS should say first according to PMS should be concerned with helping the employees setting their road clarity, how to go about it, getting a training, getting appreciation, so that this acute, you know, engaged, empowered, this is how I will write it. This empowered employee helps you to achieve the organization's objective of production. Is that right? Yes, sir. This should be the case. Whereas normally books and the common sense and motion is PMO subject means productivity, production. They don't bother about this. Starting to me, all of you feel that peaceful first approach should be taken, then it's taken. Are you here with objective? Like in companies, uh, uh, they are given a weightage of, uh, you know, uh, 60, 60, 40% like that. 40% is for employee development mm -hmm. in the weightage for the while uh, evaluating the performance of the employee. For training and development, total weightage is you know, 40% and 60% is for his uh, uh, performance of that, in the, you know, whatever the KIM and KP is. So that's what it is. It's two two similar approaches, control oriented development. Control oriented is, like I said, mechanically, I will have the toughest form, toughest process, toughest system without having any organic kind of human. The development oriented is that maybe this guy is not good in market research, maybe good in selling, or this guy is not good in sales, maybe good in market research. You know, I go in a very practical manner. Correct. So that, that's what that, that we call it development or control. No, so if you want PMOs to be effective, we have to get into more development. At the end of the day, of course, you will achieve that what you wanted to achieve, but not going through the control. Room. So, are you clear with objective? So, so, most of the what we have to conclude here is that if you are trying to mechanically go through hardware approach of performance, has to be achieved through stick, through formats, through methods, to online, there you will get performance has to be combined software as well as soft approach as well as hardware. And more probably through the software, you give them a better work clarity, give them better training, better feedback, better job rotation, better assignments, so that that guy feels love and fun to work. So the third, so clear about the suppose you are trying to as objective of the team, you'll be employed. So what is the fourth one? Is? What is the performance the domain which you already touched it? Let's go more into this. How will you approach the performance? For a group or a team. First of all, performance human has to come from top, right? For example, you can say achieve the budgeted numbers. This is performance human, right? Yes. I said that it has come down. Not that I go through you. From there, it will be broken down. With, suppose you want to achieve the budgeted number. How will you break it? Something will go to sales, something will go to production, something will go to my charge. That itself, you can break the KRA based on that for your performance. Like sales pay, you have to increase this market, this many new products, this much turnover. Okay, that's our case. This many people you have to give, this much attention you have to come here. So, you are, all your performance planning should cascade down from that. So, to that, that's when I started if you are a consultant behind this stuff. I said, first, I will touch my budget. I will touch the budget. I will touch my five year strategy plan. From that, I can write down number of KRA I'm going to hear in that. That is what I said. What is the domain of that? Or again, mostly people go from bottom. They created some artificial job description. They have some conception about what is to be done. You know, to a large extent, it may be kind of I'm not saying that every time everything is okay. But it's not scientifically totally kind. But if they go through this route, you come down. So you see. The budget and number, strategic goals, what, what is the profitability, what is the market growth, what is the product development, all those things can give you, this is what performance means. We are trying to talk about what do you mean by performance? What is going to be production? What is going to be profitability? What is going to be my expansion? What is going to be my new areas? These are hardcore numbers. 
without hardcore number. One side I said you have a combined soft approach to hardcore number, but company cannot survive if I don't test the hardcore number, right? What is the hardcore number? This is the hardcore number. So your performance have to be essentially taken from that. One. Anybody would like to add anything? Any comments? Can I ignore this thing and go to the next level? So this, this is one. The third could be, first is, I put it in a Lagina three framework. You can take, you already, you can try to take a note on this one. I took, taken PMS domain into three links. One is what we discussed now. Production, productivity, that will be Maybe 30% of PMS is on there. The second thing is, Behavioral management and leadership practice. If I don't talk about, I've given you from a budget point of view, I've given you how to integrate the business. If I don't talk about my managerial pipeline is less. If I don't fix you, this is managerial competency have to be assessed in my PMO. Again, the PM performance assessment will go for a task. Whether it's a competency of leadership, whether it's a competency of your managerial, whether it's a competency of working in a team. All those things should be taken the second level. The first one is hardcore production related number. The second one is you are related to your behavior management for all those things. The third one what is the BNC view on a scorecard. Balance scorecard view. Which all of you should be known of by the right. So that is one. Second thing is this. Do you think that this is also very important? Yes, sir. I simply fix the performance. Sales and hiring, this and that. Without you. Being weighted to the guys, the leadership quality and the team work quality, and you know, going with the chain management behavior, or working in an uncertainty situation. You know, today's world is the who comment, right? We call it who comment. Everywhere it's going to be uncertainty. So I cannot give you every time well defined direction of how to move. There are direction, but still, you're supposed to pick it up on your head. So all those things should come in the second PM of today. What is the third one? What is my potential? I need a lot of leaders. I need managers, maybe 10%, 20%. Okay. No, will I bring the leader from outside every time? Or I spot here with step, then and there. I take those guys, prove them through assessment center to the leadership. Yeah, internally. No, no, so how performance is getting enlarged? How these objectives are getting more? By running an organization, I need mean, need leaders or manager or whatever you call it. Maybe 10%, 20%. Now, where do you get it? Lateral appointment, you will take a pickup from outside? No, sir. Link has proven it already. Lateral appointment is 70 to 80% failure. Because we will not be adjusted. Cultural adaptability, competency adaptability, employee adaptability, job adaptability, there are many things. He comes with his own knowledge. My company edits all those things. It has to be done that way. Only. And this guy is already trying to put him into failure. You know, some new case. So it is normally better. So now how do you go about it? If PMS takes care of an initial in all the review material, oh, this guy has got a potential to become a leader. Then you take away from him, give him job rotation, give him some advanced training. So he he, he can be taken to what Tata is doing. Tata has got a separate assessment center, which I talked about later. But every level, whenever they see, like for example, the last two or three years we started for a new school. MBA students, when they come here, we do the candidate profile. You know, we make them to make a presentation, the strength, the weakness, the talent, the academic achievement. We, when you allow them to talk three, four days, we only take it at all the students' profile. So there you get to know which student is what. There are multi parents are available to multi students, different by we got singer, we got dancer, somebody is acting, somebody is writing. You know, you've got different kind of competencies available in those things. So here you are looking for potential because company needs more leaders. Even in all of you know the Tata Airlines also, with a lot of difficulty they appointed one guy as a chairman, then finally he didn't join. All of you have different one of those five big days. He said no, it was announced that he's going to join. Okay, there are some business where you may not be able to develop for the chairman or anybody essentially from this side, but if you develop it, nothing like this. But not many leadership positions are there, right? The board of directors, the leader of supply chain, leader of head of the HR, head of the marketing, whatever you call it. So that potential assessment should also be taken care of in the PMO. So three, one hard number, production, productivity, customer confidence. Two, behavior issue. Because this guy is good in achieving this, but this guy is because of the massive behavior, he's making six people to design. 
you know, that final guy, he is both in way, he doesn't talk to the market in his place. His behavior is so bad, he may be too good in his finance. He may be updating that code properly. All your KRA KPA, the functional KRA KPA finance get in the meeting. But because of his second, this one, his behavior is so bad that's offered as a marketing agent. So that's the second one. The third one is your potential assessment. So what action where I can spot? You know, nowadays they are top guys, not nowadays. I know at least 20 years in my own experience. Most of the top guys when they come to attend this uh, association meeting, all the industry we have association. You will see two conferences about the one. All the top guys to come to see people they were in the time. You know that you're looking for any company. Like I told you many times, so today it's not the time that you will apply, I will shortly. I have to go wherever the talent is. And the talent also not a very defined talent. You know, like you should have worked in this company in the state of experience. No, not necessarily. Especially when you go, there are three levels of competency. What are technical functional competency, human competency. <laughs> Conceptual competence. Conceptual public leadership competencies. So when you are looking people on the top, we are not looking for more technical competence. You don't have an automobile expert to that. Then you don't want to be an IT, a very high-fi design programmer. But the more you climb up, the number one quality is you want to be exceptionally conceptual and leadership competence. Which you can watch people while you are in the many association meetings. Once you know this guy has got a lot of exhibiting, conceptual, and uh, you know, um, other competencies, then you go back to do a background surveillance. So, you see the, how it, the paradigm of recruitment also changes. So, from that angle, the second point becomes very, very important is potential. So, this should be the PM of the event. Are you clear? Are you clear systematically? Now, you know, this is this is point you covered. What is the domain we got it? And PPS, the fifth point is also already we touched it. What is the fifth point? Performance planning management, capital is on. So when you have to fix that PMS for uh, 10 of you, your HR, your marketing, your existing, where will you stop? Not from your own your existing, job description, not necessarily. Start from the budget. Like with the V system. I want the, the turnover should go to this much. Sales pay will improve the sales by 20%. Finance guy will take then this much percent of money by this much interest rate for that achieving the profitability. The HR guy will give 10 guys in one month with this kind of salary. So, where are we? We are not just you know, isolated. We are not running an academic institution. Right? There we are running business. Business meaning, right? That I, all those things have to be achieved to my budget. So, that, that's, that is called cascading. What is the next one here? What are the what are the PMS methods? How do you do? Like for example, you are a sales guy, you are a marketing guy, you are a finance guy. All your KRA KPA based on cash coming out, based on your budget, everything is fixed. Now how do you do? One one man at the end of the six months. There are many methods which are possible. The first method is I said told me they call it basically vast behavior alternative. Beyond vast. In that, again, the same like what they have quantity amount, quality amount, even teamwork, will change when we're going into it. You get into some 10 15 behavioral bars, which may hold good amount, one, but it's only then quantity amount, quality amount. You will change when we're going into it, you are team oriented. Your growth oriented. Like that, they keep a path and they give very good, good final, you know, five scale. And so that is one way of doing it, which with this kind of system will not at all be applicable, right? That is one. Two is MBO system. Management by objective, which is primarily based on your care agency. You fix a care agency and you try to assess your achievement based on the mutually agreed care agency, right? Whether you achieved it, what we discussed mutually, that is what we call the second method is MBO based, care KPA based assessment. Then we also talk about uh, modern people, which doesn't work, which is not taken up. Yeah. 
They call it 350 degree and 180 degree. What is 350 degree? What is 180 degree? Behavior system is understood. MBOK and AKP already know the not They also call it 180 degree 360. What is 180 degree and 360? I'm not sure, but I'm guessing probably it's all three different angles you're above and around your face. Yeah, it will all this. See what they did is it's a new concept, but again, strategically, where when it can be implemented. See, the whole thing is that not knowing the best practice, where which best practice can be treated. The maturity of the organization, the maturity of the management. So, first you should know what is it. 360 degrees that I am the MD, he works on the US of finance. Okay, how will we accept nobody? He is an appraiser, I am the appraiser. Okay, at the most, there is a chairman, he is a video. This is a simple process, so we talk about it. Like, he is an appraiser, I am an appraiser, he is a finance director, appraiser, I as a managing director, appraiser. And the chairman of the review, that's all about. This is a normal system. When they talk about 360 degree, he will be assessed through 10 sources. His own colleagues, HR director, marketing guy, all those things. Okay. The supplier will also assess it, whether it's been good or not. The labor will also assess it. The different stakeholders will give an assessment on Okay. Which may not be possible with our Indian center when the base is not clear. Are you getting me? The idea is good. The idea is that I should not go prejudicing knowingly or unknowingly. If I get from various angles, that I get it. I get from what are the colleagues say? What are the subordinates say? Who are the other equal and senior say? What are the external stakeholders? What are the chartered accountants and all that say? So we collect his opinion about many people about him. That is called 360. 180 degrees, not 360. Some of it you get it, not only this one. So this kind of three sixty degree only thing can be useful in some place. Where else? Uh, previous organization they have done Which organization? Uh, it's a tech startup. A tech startup. Huh? Start okay. I said made any meaningful impact. And uh, so <coughs> we had to review our manager. So, no, uh, as a, well, all classes you can do. Drama like in a classroom you can do all kind of. Does it make any impact? Yes and no, because uh, why I am saying sometimes the team also takes the frustration on the manager. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, sometimes it does because it's not that manager cannot be boss. No, no. They should listen to their obviously, obviously. Okay. Okay. For the pharma industry, we do have certain set of those goals. Yeah. See, this system has been intended very good. Which kind of culture, which kind of system it can be affected? Which level? Like, for example, you try to assess a HR manager to the labor India or somebody. Do you think that you will get a better opinion about labor India? Yes. In India, at least in India. Right? They will see talk and cat kind of system. Right? And there are some, you are working at aerospace designing. You are working at some uh, very high tech designing of the island life force. Or working on both with the research and all this. Yes, it, work. it should work. That if you don't work with that kind of approach, you cannot succeed. Like, for example, surgery is taking place, right? How many people are in the surgery? There's always a senior guy who's a chief surgeon who comes and cuts the dog or something like that. Is he ever sick? In 10 to 15 people. Huh? Yeah, at least five, six key people are a senior. Mother's functional specialist in vocation. So, this guy, if it doesn't go with another senior, uh, this guy doesn't want to take a you know, pediatrician. There's a pediatrician can be Can it happen? So, this kind of level, that kind of assessment can be. So, high level designing, it can work. But not the traditional manufacturing kind of thing, it cannot work. Now, this is the other thing is welcome system. What is welcome system? The G is using which are other companies they are engaged. Even a couple of CROs they use it. Welcome, you're forced to put one some few people in the office in the top performance and two are full bottom. Okay, and then sort of are you clear with this methods one? Behavioral arcad, MBO. We talked about 180, 360 degree. Are you clear? Online. Yes, sir. 
Okay, now let's let's the welcome system. More interesting, more complicated, more challenging. First of all, what do you remember? How many of you remember? Right. I want to welcome system in 85 when I was born. Okay. What do you guys are going to do? Relative relative. Everybody will get individual marks. Not to the other one. Assignment may 20 marks, 22 marks, of course, that is okay. What is that's the relative grade? Each individual is getting marks. Okay, what is the relative? Uh, there's a relative grading system. It's a kind of ranking in instance, like a ranking system because you have put suppose 100 people are there, you are there. The, the grading at the end of the day, if I have to grade you between good, very good, excellent, outstanding, something like that. Needs and uh, above average, good, very good, or then excellent. I cannot give more than 10% of the student excellent grades, excellent grades. It's called forced. Maybe that particular section, you got 96, even though you are not got it. Okay, in my, in my particular situation, only 65% also got outstanding grades. Are you getting my point? And on the bottom also, you are 70, uh, 75 marks. You are having graded, no, you are not fixed. Are you getting my point or not? In a political system, suppose organization that 100 people are okay, 10 people have to be given a top rank. Not more than 10%, 10%, 5%, will come in between. Some 10% or 20% have to come to the top part. Irrespective of the fact that you overall even scored 18. Is it fair? Not fair? Not fair. Not fair. So why it is being used some place like pattern? The only day it was fair because within that people they used to find out what is the difference between you. First of all, have all of you understood the system, right? No, is it good or bad? He said no, not good. But if it's not good, why the best companies are using it? They are not they are logical, right? All of highly qualified guys like you me, they only come up with the system they're using. It was meaningful, sir. I think you can Time changes everything. Right? Hey. Hey. Hello, yes. We are talking about welcome system, good or bad. One opinion is bad. It is, it is good only, uh, it is again depending upon the uh, type of the industry. Now he has come next to First he said it's not good. Now he said it may be good. Some industry, some man. Correct. Now, which other companies are using it? G is using it for a long time. Do you think it's a good company or not good company? Apple is using it. Google is using it. Any top companies are using it. Why? Because that technologically advanced technology, uh, when it is required, you know, current uh, domain or uh, the, the current technology, for example, if I have the employees of old technology, but company needs the requirement of the future generation. No, the performance objective, objective here, of, the strategic objective of this company is that I want the best, not what the best. I want, I don't want good. I want to be top. I want to be more innovative. I want to be more distinctive company. I want to be more global company. I, I know you are good. I don't need. I want only the best. Is one thing to create a competent fish within the employees because yeah. even though after taking 70 percent, if I'm not in the top, it becomes employees and should be entitled to improve their skills. It no, but developmental aspect. That is a first point is the company is very clear strategically. This company that I cannot, I don't want good, I want only the best. But, but here, right, the team is the four people are there, the four are. Best, best. Best. Okay. <laughs> Some of them must be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this guy is putting an allegation. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And every year they want some of them to go out and some fresh people to come. The objective of PMS of these companies are very clear. Irrespective of good people, we want every year some 10 20 percent infusion of new blood so that my innovation is at high. So their objective itself is very clear to pressure. You are good people. 
One, two, they want the best one. Two, three, I keep that shit. Large scale organization, like IBM. Three thousand, three lakh employees, four lakh employees. 30, 40 countries are working. For them, it suits very well. Where he said four employees are working, even 50 employees are working, 25 employees are working, 100 employees are working in a traditional setup, traditional marketing. Uh, you know that where I was an director, my Sanjay Patel, I am one of the top school people, you know, American education. He was, he worked in the He was a big fan. He introduced this system in some faculty. 30 faculty. 40 faculty. Introduced the system. Why So, like we said, everything is put. You know strategically when, where, how, what strategies to use. So, Belkov system is put. Provided you are in the top innovative, highly distinctive kind of company or large number of people on the team. Even if large not in under 200, also you are in a very, very highly innovative kind of company, but not in the traditional manufacturing or sales or growth or retail of your company. And in this company, especially when less number of people are working, it's not working. So it has got its own plus and minus. If you know how to use, where to use, then it's a good system. Right? We are very clear. So how many of you recommend your own company? My company. I think I have used it. Well, which company is how many people are there? Oh, 45,000. 45,000 people are there. And 170 people excluding distributors. 170, yeah. And what level? They are all at the sales level or the sales level? 30, 60, 10 we used. Who? Hmm. Bell curve. Hmm. Like 30% of the top performance, 60 average. Uh, but again, they want to be one They have not kept only 10%. They can start 30 or 3, which will be good. 10 is for lowest. 10 is about the lowest. That's, I think, it's a very sensible. For Indian system, it's a very sensible system. I mean, I thank you for saying this information. What is that, sir? 30 uh, top performance. Normally, they keep top only 10% people. Okay. Here, they keep 30, 40% people can reach top. top okay. The top bottom they kept it to minimum, maybe five percent, ten percent. The attrition can be handled. The attrition can be handled. So, so it is fair. It's a balanced way. It's not that uh, you know you go. You know, I also introduced so there is a, I mean, welcome system. It is very sensibly adapted to the situation. So all systems are good. So finally, what will you recommend? MBU based KRA system. People will recommend. Let's go and see about it. Will you recommend 183, 60 degree? Depends on. Depends. All right. Then will you recommend post the curve system with the modification? What he said? Depends. Again, again, depends. Definitely for a research kind of organization, highly for the scale, that system can be not the traditional run of the mill of a textile mill or an automobile company or a this kind of company cannot. Where the max of employees are working, it could be a good thing. Okay, now methods are clear. Now, what is the PMS process basically? How do you go? Now you know what is the problem, what is the whole background in this. So where do you start process? Process means assessment process. You do it at the end of the year or before every six uh, six months. Uh, okay, how do you do it? What is the process for saving? You can write on the process of this. <clears throat> yeah, it's here already. Thing. First process is you will have a mutually agreed carry capital. Okay. Without that, like four piece I said. If you do this thing sincerely, honestly, it can give the benefit of both employee happy and employee happy. First, you have a Mutually agreed KRA, which is cascaded down from your budget and things like number one. Suppose your April is your assessment period start. By February, everyone should have that KRA KPA mutually discussed and mutually signed. Number one. Number two, what should be the duration? Some companies will probably six months they will do. Some companies annually will do. Come on, what should be the duration? First point is to follow. We are starting with a very sound scientific case. Mutually agreed KRA KPA. All assessment will take with reference to this mutually agreed. Okay. And 
and which is cascaded down from company's point. Now, second is that how to what is what, what is the duration? Financial year. One year? It comes on the Is it not reviewed every month so that yeah. you check for the optimum? You say one month, month, somebody says six months. What should be the duration? There is no time limit. Again, strategic. Some questions are like, is it for the or working on some COVID limits and stuff like that. Can I go and review that again monthly? One research report itself, we are not even going to create the data. We are struggling to get data, reverse engineering, filing it, analyzing it, going for regulatory approval, all those kinds of things. So, that it cannot be quarterly at this point. He is killing and he is already a mad scientist. Correct. He is already a mad scientist. Please excuse me, sir, scientist. He is already mad. You will not accept. You guys are marketing, sales, finance, still you will adjust and enjoy. You may or may not want to be the same of guys. Two guys are more than that. So, I mean, all this thing. One is the scientist. Second is finance. Third is a little bit of a hazard. Right, my love? You won't hear me. Yeah. Only a very good chance. Am I right, sir? But scientists definitely. So you cannot go to assess a scientist who's working on some design or some pattern development. You can take a sort of review, but you cannot assess him. Okay, number one. Then sales man, you're supposed to go and sell, get a sales lead and sell. Can I assess him in the quarter? Yes, sir. Huh? Can I assess him, sir? Yes, daily. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, right. no, it's our way. Yeah, it has to be paid. So that's what I mean. Every discipline has to be strategic. Sales job or even production in the plant. Will you have it um, monthly planning? Every day we have a cross functional review. CFT meeting. We already have we have first thing CFT meeting. Whatever the production calls, like a sales production calls, so it's all sort of different. Daily, monthly, quarterly, six months, or one year. Obviously, even if you are doing it quarterly and all those things, it will be cumulatively taken into at least six months or one The cumulative assessment can take place by and large yearly, or in some exceptional cases, six months. And you guys will be happy if every six months they live in prison. They don't write. If they assess six months and they give you a then why? Why will not be? So that's a duration. Then what is the process? The third, the third process is like you said, the third one is uh, the fourth one. You are writing your self appraisal. There's a template for self appraisal. Okay. In that, with reference to mutual agreement, you are writing your self appraisal. Number two, ask I as an operator, give my own time. Number three, it goes to the reviewer, he gives his own. Or where in case you have all 183, 50 deal and all those things, you bring it and then do it. That's a hypothetical hierarchical problem. Now, during this period, like we ask many things, you set the MBO and then reports are coming, then it's again incomplete. If you are not on a regular basis, if you don't get a feedback from that guy, if you don't give coaching to him, if you don't give him or her training, then this will go for ahead. Then it will three months, six months will be wasted for no Initially, you set up with a good mutual agreement. Okay, but external situation will change it. You can imply you cannot perform it. So, did you get a feedback? Most of the PMS goes for the single most uh, checklist of you know, failure is feedback is not taken seriously. One, feedback with two kinds of feedback. I don't have the strength and buddhi and patience and pragmatic approach to listen seriously. Right. I just go with the I know better. But you get so one is, but it's a very important. Two is, how do I give the feedback to you? You know, you're hesitant, hiding, or you're too rude. Feedback looks simple. It's very, very difficult. One, I don't seriously look to take a feedback. Two, I don't communicate to you feedback. You know, there's a joke somebody has to do. Somebody was making a PhD thesis, an open mind on PMS. 
because they want to be children that that uh, his wife said that guy that please tell me whatever uh, you don't like in me and improve I want you to positive to this guy said no you're doing great thing is wrong but still that lady was interesting her. he said okay you, you have to see a few gray hands which doesn't look nice the right thing you can call it the baby is common and say you said that my hair clothes are not good you know how can you say that that means you're always finding fault like you know feel back <laughs> How many of us practically willing to say? I can tell you it's difficult, even you are doing I notice it at this age, I can tell you. Taking a feedback positively, look at the lot of comments. Yes. I'm working in a team. Do you think it's easy? <coughs> you are working in a presentation, huh? How many people can be put on participating? So in the, the, the issues which come with feedback, training. Support system. These are computer process. What is the okay? Now you did the appraiser, appraising, reviewer, and then you also take in your regular feedback, regular training and everything. At the end, you call counter it a number. You are all those numbers, and the number getting into graded. Needs improvement, needs requirement, you know, above the requirement, and things like that. You give that table. So by by this one, is it complete PMS? The process itself, you don't do it properly. The PMS cannot be done. Now you control that here. Now, have you given that again to the client to give an opportunity to compare with his own comments? Number one, you set the care agency. Number two, case carry down. Number three, the process, the practices like feedback, training, support system is taken care. Number three, we go through the process of self appraisal, appraising, and review and document and everything. Finally, we did it. Now, even then, it's not over. You are supposed to give that guy, you are given an opportunity to defend your own. Once or twice. You know, to me, and if you are not happy, still go to the appeal. And if that is not disposed scientifically, with all prudence, in time, again your papers will not be. It's again, it's an improved postman. So that is where still many of our Indian companies are struggling in the last one. Because we already closed it. We will also go through the system, but we'll go through it mechanically. One more ritual. Okay, I'm giving you 10 days to reply to the plate. I mean, I'll file it and say, no, 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 correct. What are you doing this time? I mean, maybe 70% you may be right, but it should be possible 30% that uh, that other person, somewhere you overlooked it, somewhere you only wanted him, he's not good for a particular job. You, the company needed it. You told him to come and work in the field. I've seen it in my own. You are good for a particular job. You, you can't take up that job, that when there's a vacancy, I cannot give it to somebody outside. I give you, so your performance may not be great, sir. Right? Or take for it, take it, faculty. Some faculty is good in teaching, for us. Okay. And all of a sudden, the marketing professor is not coming to take the job. So the final case is, he can also teach marketing. But he says, I cannot teach marketing effectively. One. So then you cannot assess his teaching effectiveness of marketing manual with that skill, right? That is why all the IMs they give when you have been teaching, suppose I'm teaching it for three, four years. Even if you get an excellent feedback, they will not give you great marks. You know, really, you are teaching it for like, I'm teaching for a few years. What is that for you to be getting here? Or somebody has come and taught a new course, a short time, with even relatively not a very good feedback, you will get a better mark. Are you getting my This guy is a difficulty level. He taught many times. Same old course. Somebody, even me, if I taught this course, or I have to teach something, I tell another thing. Let's have a sport card. Or the linking the corporate governance with the uh, HR analytics, the software things. The new course I developed and delivered. So that course may not go very well immediately, right? So now it all depends upon how do you create it and take it that long, finally create it. So this is the process at the end of the linking will take it. The process is clear. If the process is done properly, number one checklist, proper care KP, based on case study, and appraiser appraisal, we need to the reference of that one. All the supporting system like feedback, training, everything is given. And final opportunity and feedback is the, is the key most one to be taken seriously during, after every stage feedback has to be If this is taken clearly, do you think that PMS can be effective or not? Again, every stage, 
exactly. exhibition. We don't want to do exhibition. I said that's why I started with the four things. You don't need to read hundreds of marketing books. You be clear with the seven piece. Whichever business you can do. You don't need a big gallon of money. Be clear. People don't have a product they spend money on. You know, calling farm contract. Right? <laughs> you have a product, right? Then only you can. Or you have the deep product, you don't want to spend even a small budget on electronic capital. Or you kill the product by low price or high prices. It's all simple to solve, right? All of you to think seriously can do it right. But that exactly many business don't part of only I So PMS can also be effective if this is taken in that way. So we covered processing. Okay. If you want to take a break, before I take you to four points, yes, sir. Huh? Okay. So now we covered. Six points, right? Look, seven points. Seven points. We have the first couple of points. We have the first couple of points. Why are you not doing this? It was about the company. There will be an option for the employee to perform for the employee to perform the heritage. For their own or development. We can also mention what are the. You know, what are you talking about? Why not organization? I was sitting on one of the KMHC customers. I am the I am the citizen, meaning by how I am the Faculty has got three domains teaching, so many hours per quarter, one to three paper to be published. Second, the three areas are mandated, you have to count the three, maybe 50, 20, 20. The third is your institutional service. You are helping in conference, you are helping in admission, you are helping. The three areas, you are given your own chance. But minimum has to be that. Like for example, teaching could be 30 to 60. You can reduce to 30. Or in one semester, you do no teaching. Zero. And you know that I am three months, six months, you don't have to go to class even for one hour. But the second part is you know, research, focus general, publication, books are put the level up to the level of Harvard and all those things. In compensation, it has to come. And that is possible only without teaching. Because I got through to no? There are different ballgame altogether. Coming to teaching, preparing, talking to you, fraction. This becomes a different skill set, mindset. This has become different mindset. You think on, work on, you decide, you get bored, you come back, you think and try to leave. When I was doing PhD, two to three o'clock also, you get up and oh, this morning can you do Even for my PhD student, I go through the same thing. <laughs> You know, oh, you should call immediately, tell them to order this knowledge. So that's a different ballgame. So you cannot be teaching, correcting paper, and come back to your reserve. Or maybe I don't need that. If so, to that extent, yeah, it's possible. And not exactly carry capabilities, maybe some point the road clarity. You know, that some guys put in corporate I like, I told you, my, my, my friend, Mr. Lofton, one of my research partners, he's a chair guy. He's uh, 53 years of age and he's working for the best company inside. And he has been working for a plant in charge for many years. Maybe you're getting 40, 40 million channels. Now, last six months back, they promoted him as a BBM to talk to He decided to quit the job. He approached me, sir, please get me a job. Because he said, no, I'm used to only the plant at the job. I cannot work in the corporate as a corporate. Agent. No, you cannot force him that. Are you kidding me? His name is Khan. His mind was stolen. He sits in Malum Villa. 54 years of age. He's given him 8 lakhs jump in the target. And he's going to report straight to the manager in the corporate bureau. He doesn't want the job. I was appreciate that guy. At least now, initially, I said, Why you want to leave that kind of bureau? I'm like, I'm only used to the plan, right? I want to go to the plan. There's a lot of action happening. Recruiting, firing, union shopping, <laughs> you know, messes all those things. <laughs> you know, I work here, yeah, I cannot come and sit and work like I said, bring your research scholar, I'll do some research activity. No, I am motivated, I'll come and help you. I'll uh, some of your carpet, conducting training, designing PMR, I'll all try to help, sir. 
Your couple don't go back. No, I don't like that. I don't, I cannot think, I cannot write. I have to go around the front and the bathroom, I have to sit with my contractors, I have to sit with my canteen. I won't like that thing. And he has, he has done a good job. That is why they promote him. So now, the intention is good, but does it serve the purpose? Scary. And then I've seen, I don't know whether it's even more or more. My own person is in 40s, JK industry is a good industry, right? One of the companies. JK were also into sugar. That time I was really, I was punished at the case of the The CEO has been shot at in Mirat. Mirat is known for a tough place. I don't know how many people know. Big industry, the industry is run by JK. I don't know what happened. The vacancy came. There was no CEO from inside. They could no more. So they advertised. Big company, they got a long extension, they got a Finally, they shortlisted some five, six people. I was one of them. In three months. May I say, eleven people in Bumper, more than Singhania, VPHR, Professor of Psychology from Delhi University, all ten people in the city. And each one was asking for one of them. It was very interesting. One, the interim board was brought, they asked me for chance here. We look after the candidates also during like in my case, I remember it was in for bogus and market engineering. They asked me which soup, which bread you eat, which car driver you want to pick up. That much they taken care of the candidate also. And the board also, full pressure board, and all questions for stress level, your functional level, leadership level, all those kind of things. And finally, they got into the confusion. There was a Mangal Singh was known to be the topmost scientist, super technologist in India, representing his name in the group. I was a few management graduate, go get her, top three. Six percent of the women that decided they should go for me because we need this guy. You know, top guy to go. Other people, they cannot write him on. And the thing is the Mongols. The world super technologist in the world, in India, how can we not tell him? Mongols came to the basket. 38 old, 35, 30 years old, guy, Mangal Singh, 34 years old, with all solid sugar industry. And even they went to do reference checking also, months and spending lots of things in my table. Finally, they said, okay, after two, three months, uh, I think a lot of this group are upset. Finally, they selected me. Within 45 days, Mangal Singh started So, give the scientist. He was a good scientist. He knows which color sugar, what kind of size of the sugar, what evaporation level, what you know, quantification level, what mill efficiency, what kind of bagas can be reduced. How I, he is good technical, like I said, technical. What needed for, for, for this thing. So if you have the capital, he was a technical advisor. We could achieve both. Now we lost him both. We lost his technical, then they come to my life. Then I dictated that I want double it. What you offered me, you make it double that time. They also understood this guy's like he's happy, many things. So, what is the role? And you take him, for example, what when you want to appoint a vice chancellor or a dad, what how do you go about it? Come on, guys. You have been given an opportunity to recruit that vice chancellor. How do you go? Experience in like the point. Uh, okay. Does it fit? Is he able to get to that role? Vice Chancellor has a bigger head, so somebody who can who has a positive. Somebody who's not going to ask you to do it. Sorry. It's open standing. See, normally what you said, we should know that many more. Nobody without a PhD can be shortlisted. You will take 20 years of experience, maybe out of 10 years, like a journey and things like that. These are basic things. Now, you will get many applications. PhD over that, 10 years of experience will be all there. Now, the vice chancellor's post is is it concerned with teaching? No. Oh. Is it concerned with curriculum? He becomes a pure corporate CEO. You are getting my point. Because he is to get the uh, you know, networking arrangement globally. He has to get various accreditation done very well. He has to make his faculty and happy. His role is becoming a 
practically corporate feeling. But whereas we are still not able to think differently, we try, that is why some say that I am right. This is what there is. Last time, we were five, six, and a lot of young people from the academic program. How can you take an IM office to be? Why can't Those guys are very good. It's more of a corporate kind of thing. And okay, that's what I mean. That's what I said. The roles, qualities may be the same, experience may be the same. The role competency mapping may not be the same. I see a lot of guys, you know, you take care of them. Teaching, research, there are two of them. Guys good at teaching may not be good at research. The guys who are too good in research may not be good at teaching. So now we have to be, the time has come, like you said, exactly which one's competency needs where they have to teach. Otherwise, you all your performance of system system and everything will go up. But then, okay? he's not into it. You put him, I mean, the guy who doesn't want to write one page, he wanted to become a team research. Or you give a research, he will not be into it. Or somebody will write very well, theoretically. He cannot stand in front of you and you guys for hours. He put him in front of you. He will come and try to see the PPT and try to see, yes, sir. After time, you see the PPT and you guys will have a blast. Correct. So the point conclusion is the care is very good point. What, what is it? Care KP needs to take care of the matching the employee's competency to the role competency to large extent. And like I told you, told accounting is different, finance is different, secretary is different, casting is different, MIS is different. Take any job, marketing, market research is different, sales is different. Everywhere is a different different role. So if they can take care while fixing. The care they give you that guy. That really helps. Anyway, I'm going to eat coffee with me. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> I, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Who is scoring that data? He, he, he thought hey, you are this lecture is not a student. I wish you were. We have some coffee in the canteen. Yes, possible. No lunch, sir. Only coffee, sir. There was no tea. Good evening. Good evening. But you need to go through it. Where to waste time? Yes. It is the question. Mm -hmm. I think we are also discussing more about speed forward concept. Speed mm -hmm. forward. Okay. okay. The speed forward is back in the how it was invented, what happened previously. Mm -hmm. so giving that it's the number of feet and that. Speed forward means the life is speed for speed back. Like, if I've done something, how the future should be, we will be doing in the future in terms of development, going back, and I think. This is why it's read in some of the articles. Feed forward concept in this way. Again, so what, what does it mean by feed forward? The example feed back itself, you mean back forward. What happened? What example I shared in the last six months? What you could have done better? That is about post modern thing. Whatever happened, not really. the feed forward is a thing. What you're doing, how you should do in the future is feeding towards the future. It's a sort of suggestion. Right. Hey, what are the assessment of futuristic? But that is the concept was okay to you learn. Interesting, challenging, and difficult. I think it's been to the direction. No, no, learning about guys. Well, they come with words without them. No, you listen also later. What it looks like your large expression. It's like giving a suggestion. Yeah. Scenery, you can paradigm shift. Can you can you do this way? Probably this will get 10 years. That's what you're trying to say. One of the European let's say called leadership pipeline. Oh, I'm sorry. Google. The feed forward is one of the new elements. Oh, the new concept. 
they bring in something new. Your, your terminology. Terminal. Terminal. Basically, they are trying to say that you have been doing with this kind of shift. Anyhow, paradigm shift to this level, it may impact that. Back to future. Back, back to future. future. We use this XYZ model. Now it resulted. Now can you use the ABC model? So it can be better. It can be better. It's a part of the design of language model, a paradigm shift or a suggestion to interpret or modify the existing one actually. The existing one, right? Yeah. Okay, just go through the slides, what we covered is already done. Online student, can you see the slide? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Just go through the slides. So it will be shared with you. It's already there. Clear this one, what we discussed. This is a very important slide. I mean, these are some of the areas I touched. Come, come, come. Come, madam, come. In your absence, we are going through the slides. Can we repeat it for them also? If you don't mind? Yeah. Can we start from the beginning? Repeat forward. No, not repeat forward this way. Now you have to give us a lecture on repeat and read something in between. Okay, just go through the slides first. Done? Yes, sir. We will not be able to repeat that time. <laughs> Anyhow, up to here we touched, right? 
So you, by now, by and large, you have a complete conceptual view of the field, right? How it should be structured, what is the benefit, how it has to be professionally intervention. Any question for me? There is another point to take here. What should be What should be the strategy? What is the strategy? Strategy means no copy paste. Where to use one section? Where to use many copies? Where not to use? Where to use objective system? Where to use subjective system? I mean, like in case of phase, you use a lot of objectives. Your daily phase, your monthly phase, comparative figures. In case of assessing your scientist or a CEO, maybe 50% would be subjective. If you need to develop a team, if you need to network in the other people, you know, subjectively as a team. So, to what extent, where there will be a subjective assessment, where it will be subjective assessment. I mean, the bottom level, it will be more likely than it will be objective assessment. At the top level, on a very talented kind of level, it may not be all the time objective. Objective, subjective, quantitative, qualitative, which method to use where. 183 degree, which have to be used in. What is the duration to be used? These are the strategic decisions to be taken depending upon the company, your affordability, the adjustability, the calcium property of a company. What we do is we try to get any best practice of these areas. Somebody is using Velcro, I lost it. Somebody is using a tough market I will object this as well for the CEO also. I will do it. Or a scientist also. All these things are good, nothing is bad. The question is where to use how. That is why the word called strategy. Can okay. strategically think about using performance process or practice or methods or models or things like that in a strategic manner? Where is my company? Innovative company, manufacturing company, CEO or something, base value or something. I'm assessing more on potential or more assessing on behavior, more on hardcore objectivity. Which one to be used? That is what I tell software can do. Correct. This part of it, it depends upon, suppose you have 3,000 3, people in Bible like last year. Now, how many people are more critical? What are the managers? 10, 20, 30? At the most? Yes, sir. And we still have maybe 100 managers are very much needed. And if you come to the workman, maybe 100 people are highly skilled people, more important. So there, how to be used, it's a strategy. That's what, like any other place, even in a training area, we must also to be more strategic. I mean, where you can use a, a, a subjective kind of things, like you see when you start telling how many meetings you had, how many people you brought in, objectively you write it down. It may not work out. Right? You can ask him objectively what is the projection you are doing, what is the turnover you are doing. Incidentally, how will you assess the team? What are the objective questions you ask? What are the subjective questions? You are assessing a team. I'm asking you because I have a consultancy right now. There's one CEO himself. This company is called Wokwood. Work. They are in more right? Kitchen Head. Something. And that Kitchen Head is costing between 5 to 10 lakhs. Both husband and wife, they are running a company. Many are in good profit. He himself is CEO. He has given a consultancy last week to me and Sanjay sir. Then decide the care he gave me Himself. So, how will you? Your input may help me. I'll make money. It will make money. How will it be? His name is also Havin. Mean, company is Wokwo. They are selling this kitchen net, high end kitchen net, costing between 5 lakhs and 10 lakhs. Being reasonably that. He wants to get a care in the people. That's the thing. Very nice. Thank you. Care in the people versus close relation, right? Close are hundred percent, but most is greater. Care AKP is for what? Road clarity and PMS. The first impact of care AKP is your PMS. For then, when you talk about strategy, me, for this kind of CEO, how will you design it for PMS? Come on, guys. Theoretically, we discussed what? Last Sunday. And I'll ask for a selfish week, okay? I <laughs> have a lot of input on this. Thank you. Check the financial uh, target for the year. Okay. Like revenue for so for this year, we have to achieve this much of uh, okay. lakhs, of course. Okay. Okay. So is there any goal which he has given to you, or you are you are going to give him? Goal? Is that sir? You decide with me. Okay. What is the brand value? So he said, he decide my premium system, he decide my care, he decide my 
one frame okay in the finance one as a CO you have to increase the turnover compared to the past by 30 percent okay second you have to increase the profitability by 30 percent 30 percent are we talking to the point or not yes sir yes. Okay, point. in India call it matter <laughs> okay right profitability should be 30 percent more than last week yes correct what else in finance like I said, you don't need a big when you are going to ascend my mind, you don't need a 10 page. And the each four right four two three. What is in finance? So you will talk about cutting down expenses, increasing in operating costs. Good, good. Why are you thinking about when you guys will talk about one point in finance and make it money? So what he talked is yeah, more of the finance. One point you guys said, increasing the turnover. Increasing the profitability, he said, marginalizing the operational cost, finance. We will talk only finance, finance, finance. Then we'll go to the other one, right? So once you put your pressure on that, your mind will start thinking, are you getting it? So it's going to be very important. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Investment in what? Investment in content finance. Yeah. To bring in investments. Uh, bring in an investor. Okay, good point. <laughs> Fourth point is see, when you start thinking, you only give point. So getting a finance at a cheaper interest cost. That's what we say. Correct, no? Correct. As I told you, you know, interest is going to kill me. Okay, that's any finance. That few will do. You <laughs> think finance has been done? Exactly. Finance and along with the thing. So, is that mobilizing the investment at a competitive service cost? Let's use a polished word also. Service cost is interesting. Maybe through subscription, maybe through uncle, uncle, maybe through maybe through banks, maybe through capital ventures, or maybe through investment like whatever there. Four. All good points, right? Again, you validate whatever way. Are we talking professionally? Yes. Are we talking meaningful? Correct. What else? Maintaining the cash flow, sufficient cash flow. Okay. That is what it is. That's the final deal. When you give profitability cash flow, that you will manage. That you will manage. You are the same, I will not see you. Okay. I have to make sure through my strategy, through my planning and everything, things are getting into more profitability, more, more turnover, less uh, operational cost, and then getting more money, available money, not only for you will find that you take that, making it available fund available at an affordable, cheaper interest. So, Sorry, the fund. Second in the fund. Come here also, but the best thing is there's one quarter called process. 
that process you say all budgetary preparation, budgetary non corporate government compliance, effects and effects, 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 all those things taken care can come there. Correct. So we already jumped. So you guys are making some day. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, now okay. Enough is not this four is you can write down, but this four is predominantly 80 90 percent takes care of the company. If this guy can take care of his four, yeah, property getting more, turnover more, getting funded cheaper cost, reducing the operation cost, what else you Right? 80 to 90 percent of the company stability, growth, sustainability, stability. So, find about finance. Now you talked about what is the next quarter in finance worker. See how it becomes simple, like somebody is asking, how did you do it in 15 days? Maybe they asked me all this today. Sometimes you have to also this much not how did you take care? In the mind and mind, I was thinking sitting at home and back home. If you sit two hours thinking, I get it. If it cannot be prepared in one hour, two hours, it can never be prepared. Are you getting the question? Now that is because you are structured, your mind has become already structured. You are no more a human being. <laughs> Right. Objective, structure, program, modern audience there. Answer, that should not come and help your personal life. You use this modern and personal life and that's okay, personal. With personal, there is no objective, there is no modern, there is no structure. Correct. Okay, now this is more. Now come to what it has been. What would be is, as a theme of what would be. Increase morality, increase the market share. Market share. Market share. Ensure market share go domestically by 20 percent. Expand the market and unentered market by 10 percent. So, right? Increase the existing market by 20 percent. Introduce the new market by this person. Okay. Here, probably you can also bring the product. Come up with 10 percent new product. We are not talking about leading indicators like you get a lead and things like that. At the end, what this guy is about. And uh, customers' acceptance, satisfaction index should be so much percentage successful. Brand acceptance should be this much should be acceptable. Correct. How many points can I say? And hardly takes one of us. So, yeah, we can. Whatever you can have to do, like to do, not a bad satisfaction. But again, marketing, you should not say that it's a great thing. You have to go out to one time, meeting, you see your you know, website so that we have on the one. I was laughing in my mind. Oh, I think one of us sitting, we can do that. So it doesn't look at Otherwise, it can do that. Okay. So what is it? Sales and marketing, we talked about new market, market segment, market share. New area, old area, new product development, brand image acceptance more, consumer satisfaction more. That's it. You touch sales and marketing. One thing you not touch. Consumer satisfaction comes in the uh, market. In market. market. Yeah. Your brand image is more, customer satisfaction is more. In that quality, I'll tell you will come. One thing you should not touch. Employees? Huh? Employees? No, again, I think marketing plan. Sorry, <laughs> marketing. We are talking about the market. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys start thinking. I'm not just posting you. In day-to-day -day life, in your job, also, I start thinking, what is that level? I think what is this? You, you, all of you have a thing. Just because we're not able to think, focus. The one thing you're not touching is the market. Market, new customers. Huh? New customers. All of you covered it. Okay, we can. That market segment will be customer only. Advertise. Brand images, we said brand images will go by 30 percent. Brand index will go by that. Effective brand image, effective employees, and customer satisfaction index. All score talks will be na? Each one you have a score card. In this one point, you are not touching very vital points. You are touch marketing, you are touch sales. You are not touching performance market research. All will come back. Color market. How is the market? When you are getting segment more. That's how marketing can be. Profit. They already take any financial. And answering marketing funds. No. Very vital when you are touching. You have taken marketing, you have taken. I am repeating the word again. You have taken marketing, you have taken sales. In this brand, quality, satisfaction, 
have quantity of objective information, mm -hmm. everything is same. Whatever we are talking about, one well, vital you are competitors can have. The vital are not right. How much you feel with the competition? How much you come out of it? The life is just good, crush it. I mean, either role, competitor means either a role model of competitor or crushing the role. These are clearly teachers. I mean, you are in a big university. I want to be the next Harvard of Harvard in India. That is the competitor. You got my point. This was the balance for part. That suppose I'm missing. My institute should be the Harvard standard of Harvard in India. Or I want to crush all the IMs here. I want to come up above the IMs. Can we target for a few more? Once you have a target to start working, right? Yes. You will achieve 20% removal of rights. Correct. I used to be how to take up. In the school of business, I thought that they too much later. Right? I mean, they don't bother with the IMs, right? But they already come with the target. I don't care for that. I'm much more than that. So this case can say that if we do the homework, maybe some or some other high person, I will take out the 20, 20 percent of that. Or suppose you have some global high brand of global, I will that global brand uh, material will be given here. So since you started thinking competitor, you able to think something like that. So in this quarter, you have taken about marketing, you have taken about sales, you have taken about competitor. So five, six point, five score for the finance, five score for the this one, ten point. Yes. Okay. So what is the oh, You want to talk about the employee value development, speed, fast. Right. All those things you wanted to take, right? Teamwork, employee. Club, all those things in one quarter. Start thinking in an objective, high level. Not that the middle of a challenge, they have not been done. Yeah, yeah. Highly motivated, highly engaged employee. You know, suppose I have 100 employees, at least 25% of my employees should be highly engaged. Correct. Highly engaged means they're happy, they want to contribute, they'll do anything, everything for me. That's how you do, you'll do through a survey. There are Gallup surveys, there are all those things also. Okay, so that means I'm respecting talent. I'm providing for talent. Keeping people, appointing people in time, that's the chair will do. As a CEO, what he will do? He makes sure that I have the right kind of competent people with at least 25% of the people are highly satisfied people. Or the non-satisfied people are not even 2%. That could be one. What else? Now, in this you talk about, what else? The situation rate, the situation rate. Yeah, you can talk about the attrition rate to the level of whatever uh, industry now or less than that. So, this attrition, not exactly when it comes to that CEO uh, level, but it is a conflict of the HR. But okay, we'll take all that. Right? What is it? Training and skill development of them. Hmm. We put it in a different way. What is it? You know, continuous sustained learning and development of people so that my not simply learning a normal quality. My quality product is gets better. 20% of my product is upgraded at far with global through constant training. You get my point? Yeah. So you put that way, then it becomes not simply training in normal. Mm -hmm. Are we able to upgrade with product? Yes. Imaginary product, innovative product, customized product. Highly, because we, here you are talking about high impact. Like, who will buy for a kitchen for five lakhs in there? Probably 30, 40 lakhs will buy a small flat. Through room flat. So that means the guys want the taste, no? The material you will be that used for the two quarter. What we are talking about people, people, right. talent, almost. <coughs> Marketing will close, finance will close. Mm -hmm. We are talking about human capital, talent, employee, people, all those things you talk to me, all of these. Single, single one. He should be recognized as the best in class. He wants to get a mission. That itself is not enough in his life. 
Correct. What about diverse and all those things? It's it's a sub point. But if it's taken as a best and line, even attention is never seen before. That all will percolate it down to HR head or somebody else. If he's taken as a best employee, if he's taken Maslow's hierarchy of needs, highly accomplished employee, even 20%, I don't know whether I told you in one of the class. We had an HR conference in Ahmedabad. All those uh, planted HR guys come from uh, this one. Well, conference, our chairman was invited, 90 years old chairman. We all had a all conference, high five talk and laugh. He made only one cover and built. He said, all of you are experts and things like that. All of you know about the mass of hierarchy of needs. I make at least 10% of my employees with star employees are highly motivated to employ to contribute. My company will grow 10 times. Make sense or not? Not blaming, criticizing, helplessness. Most of the employees, no? They will blame, they criticize, they helplessness. They do all those kind of things. Not warning, how can you stay in touch? He said, can you make 10% of people to get in that slant? So that's, what, that's somewhat related to best employer. Best employer. What is it? Best employer will cover anything else. Best compensation, best working, all those things. What else you want to see? In the top one. You cannot think anything better than this, right? Yes, sir. All things will come from Now come to process governance, fourth part. There you can put governance, process, CSR, it is all one cluster. Because we don't want the company to collapse from like the Satyam or any other or any company. You should have CSR, everything. So he has to have that. So what do you do? What do you do? 100% statutory compliance. CSR complaints, ethical complaints, which is, I think probably this will be the number one care in KPMS, not even finance. You know, know the finance, how the balance sheet is that, that in the US and all now? Not a naked you are a profit and loss. What extent your environmental degradation is taken care of? What is that, you know, carbon footprint is taken care of? This is taken into your balance sheet. Even by number, you are making a big profitability. If this is not, not good, you are not given any loan. So the CSR governance, all those things, compliance, compliance, statutory compliance, hundred percent. CSR compliance, ethical compliance, ethical compliance. CSR could be to whom? To the customer, consumer, public, government, government bodies. You know it's. Compliance means all, to all stakeholders. In the sense, you are not supposed to sell a product which is not needed. You are not supposed to sell a product with a high price. This all I don't know. I mean, this is how I teach corporate. I teach corporate governance. Corporate governance doesn't mean that they only complain with the law and never have all these things. Com Complaints to customer. Are you giving the needful product? Are the, are the customers getting all the information? Is it useful? It's rightly priced. Or it's a relevant product. So all those points is one. Hundred percent statutory statutory complaints. Hundred percent, two percent of the CSR to be given every year. Ethical complaints to all the stakeholders. Okay, all these um, uh, whatever you want to do, company law government taken care of. And then internal review meetings, MA system, so that the, what we call agency team. Agency team what? That I am a owner, you are my CEO, that CEO doesn't misuse, knowingly annoying. So you are making sure that your agency theory is not going for a car. It's taken care of it. Anything else you need? For a CEO? Probably 4 4, 20. Yeah. This 20 can be again well thought out with the right kind of words, not under 10. 10 means not uh, doing away with the substance. Doing it with your English. Correct. So in this, uh, 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 is it is it for the this company is a trading company or manufacturing company? Sir? Manufacturing, marketing, trading. So in this, we are not covered much on these manufacturing then uh, in this process. So operational cost, product development will take it. Then your product will have to come. Operational cost to be reduced. Good point, you Good. 
Yusuf for a graduate student get off the product to large manufacturing company or a few more. Ten new products to be brought in every year to meet the customer need. Offered like that, that, that comes in the quadrant of the sales and marketing. Yes, in the they introduced the sales marketing competition product. Or if you want to take a product out, what will you take? What will you put? Same thing. In terms of uh, making the product, uh, manufacturing the product, in terms of uh, eliminating the cost of continuous implement, those, those okay. aspects are not. You, it, that you come with an innovative product to the tune of 20%. Or uh, uh, your life sale of the product, self life of the product is not more than two years or one year. Keep on with the coming with the upgrade part that can be taken. I mean, balance scorecard doesn't mean that we have to stick to only balance. Use the team, add something more relevant and concrete to that. Not that I mean, you know, minor points. Correct. Right. Now, have you come up? You think that my life has become a throat in the evening? I can sit for 10 minutes, put up the points, put up the middle, and guide. Have you covered it or not? Yes. Okay, now you covered it. Now, how are you going to carry a PA is covered for the season? How are you going to have his PMs? What was your question before that? Yeah, please. I think in case there is also something called social and environment. In one means, there is also a lot of environment. Environment, everything comes in your world and CSR and CSR. Everything comes in. Environment and big relation. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Which has a negative impact on social and environment. Sustainable. The word is sustainable. You see the word, the item in such a way, you are unnecessarily wasting that environment. Because what are the words? We have heard of this word. Governance, PSR, ethics, sustainable, environmental regulation. These are the words heavily used. Rather, this becomes more profitable. Now, no. Previously, we have been predominantly finance finance. Now, this is taking number one. PSR, governance, ethics, sustainability. Recyclable. The product All those comes in sustainable. Mm. This course is a very important course for me. After it comes in from CSR, a lot of new startups are coming. Some knowledge for certain projects, they're giving tax uh, redemption. Mm -hmm. If the product is social and environmental responsibility. Yeah, it's very important. It's in the cost, even for manufacturing. Yeah, see, when you talk about this one, not the exact cost, how much you are towards the humanity. We are more on the humanity, humanity. Are you complaining with the world? Okay, now you got a clear idea for the KRDK paper thing. Thanks a lot. I don't have an idea. <laughs> I, I mean, I would often have only to write out and send it to the guy. And I get probably back to this and then say, I'm to Then coming to how are you going to have a paper system? You also should go through paper, right? What would be the duration? <laughs> Monthly, quarterly, yearly, quarterly. Or smaller companies, it can be monthly or bigger companies. Definitely should be monthly and quarterly. Preferably quarterly. So the duration is quarterly. Some result take time, so you okay. cannot keep implementing All right. on a monthly. Okay. So he will be quarterly. Will you say that? And he will write his self Yes. Yes. With reference to all this, what are the written? No nonsense. Yes, right? With reference to this, this is thing that I Then it goes to who's over the board of directors. It's not individual. Go to the board of directors as an appraiser. Now, this would be more an object, objective. When you're doing it more, you'll do it objective or subjective? Objective, so many things were taken, like profitability, sales, and things like that. That means someone around 60 percent. 30 40 percent of the subject will come in your governance and things like that. Correct. So, here it looks like 60 40 will come. 60 will be objective, 40 would be subject. That's all. Duration we are clear, subjective, objective very clear, quantity, quantity we are clear. Now, what method are they? What method do you need? Obviously, one method is in this. And since he's a single guy, there's no welcome system. Okay. 
Building company mission mission is there, right? Yeah. If you go through it, 
it will tell you all companies, so in India, everybody, how the return, what is right, what is wrong, what is the methodology, what is the framework. Imagine calling engineering. Everything. So that is what I always keep on telling you guys, learn terminology, learn methodology, learn format. Then only your ability as a leader goes up. Otherwise, how much will anybody get you? Okay, now, this guy has, can, can be given a training? No, I, I've already trained him to do the because of the training, only he started doing interest in caring. He started making his own staff to prepare a caring. I sat in one of his engine meetings, and the um, production manager is talking about the you know, no safety be more during the support operation. And I said, You are some not doing what he wants. Our chef, production manager was talking about market share in place. So I said, You don't bother about that, you consider it only as a job. He needs a training, right? So this can be explained. I said there are one or two related words in this one, which is called assessment center and appreciating center. Assessment center. You should go through it in the mobile. What is assessment center? What is appreciating center? Yeah, it's called assessment center. Appreciative inquiry. A lot of companies have started using assessment center along with their payment. So go through what it is. Yeah. You are taking it to the more development area. What is the assessment center? Identify management potential. So people like it comes under your potential. It's a three to this, right? At the initial level itself, when we start spotting people, are we consciously looking for people through assessment center? Oh, this guy has got this system, that sense. So through assessment center, come, he has a revalidated skill, and then training, take him to that level. This has to be linked with your payment. And the same thing is appreciative of okay? All the time you find people that he doesn't need, she doesn't need. Instead of doing negatively, see positively. What is it appreciable? Talent or competencies, abilities are with that person. 
you conduct an appreciative inquiry. Don't be the, go with the mind, what not done, not doing, not doing properly, not achieving it. Don't go there. Something must be there, I must try to. You go with that particular psychological impact. I have to find out through an inquiry, appreciable quality, there must be something. So this is all linked with the PMS system as one of the best practices. Okay. So this guy can probably get yeah. go through. This was set up by experts. This kind of CEOs are going through. Coach, mentors, assessment center. People come to party. Maybe in strategic thinking. But another thing is in the, uh, this one. You are not talking about the strategic part. We all talk a lot about the operational part. How he is good at strategizing the business. So that all comes through the assessment center. Okay. Now, any questions on this topic for that? I thought of covering that the new labor law code which has come out after 45 years in India. So that part I want to cover it up. Obviously, I cannot cover it up. Next class we can cover it up. Any questions on this one? PMR so far. So in other words, KRA, KPA, PMR is close to me. Right? PR, KRA, KPA, PMS can be fruitful, nice. Both in the employee's interest as well as the company's interest, if it is done with the nuances, can be. What are the nuances? We have done. Okay. Any questions on this one? Have you understood all? Have you, what are the terminologies you need? Performance operation, PMS, performance planning, underneath, <coughs> three six. Welcome, Potential assessment, behavior 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 Explain about the objectives, the good PMS system should say. What do you mean by strategic PMS approach? This all could be a possible question. This can come from this. Anybody who can trace the question of this. Suppose tomorrow you appear for an interview. Somebody asked that, what subject you like to say PMS? Then obviously the guy will start asking the same thing. What is the assessment center? What is appreciative query? Should it be linked with the PMS? Should be linked with that or not? To the incentive for the or not. You know, these are the possible questions that can come. Done? Okay, now your friend has asked one question. Come on, man. Yeah, so in the uh, LMS, you have mentioned that's why I kept the last three minutes for this question. Yeah, for the assignment, uh, to you, you have mentioned that in LMS, you have to submit the document as well as the media recording. Yeah. No, his question is about the this one. Your assignment. All of you are going to the carry campaign. Next day. The only date available are in between if you want to do your most worker. When is the next day? Yeah. Okay. This question is should it be only a, a word format or a record or not? This is a question, right? Because incidentally, in the direction it is written, it's a word form as well as a record again, right? What do you want? Word. 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 Clear, sir. Janta wanted word. Go right. And again, please all, don't come to me again 10 times. Sir, it's recorded on card form. It's clear. That is it. Purposely, I'm telling in presence of everybody. No need for video. Okay. We'll make you like little more. Like, <laughs> more. Like. Now, I answered your question. Then, what is the other one? Each group is supposed to make for five. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Based on balance scorecard and plus, if you want to add balance scorecard, other three more card you want. But essentially, at least balance scorecard. And third one, I said, not the traditional post, like HR marketing finance. Some posts which should be interesting and challenging for you to think. Clear again? In and out. But again, don't come to me for this to that. I'm, I'm sorry that somewhere there is an I never been there. Okay. This thing of things cannot be recorded. 
When I'm seeing your seniors and they want to be also three for two, right? They find it too difficult that way. They are surveys their own personal, they can use to be normal. Employee satisfaction personal is there in your use. You know, leadership profile study is the personal is there. You can take that and use it. And the book is training instruments for the charting. Training instruments for the charting. By Professor P. V. Raw on the Thank you. P. V. Raw and Uday Parikh. This book has got only questions. Yeah. Supervisor effectiveness, manager effectiveness, employee satisfaction, leadership effectiveness, team effectiveness. Name any question. This book has got questions also. How to administer, how to analyze everything is done. It's nothing there. Training instruments for a chart. Then one more book, which are added. These are the books will help you a lot in your project, which are added by TV Law. Who are the top authors? Authors, TV Law, Uday Pare, Dave Oldrich. These three authors you follow. Go to the classicals and things like that, you will be a top. And you will not be less than any Harvard guys. In the global today, they will reach it on the top of the market. HR is the table. So at least at the broader level, you should know which are the best practices, which are the authors level. We don't want to be an expert in understanding, but at least cash when you go. A lot of many articles coming in HR Mahabharat, it's our value creation. Huh? Any question? Next plot, what do you meant to go? I am likely my employment to cover up what you have. Labor, labor code and the new labor code. When I said labor code, I am expecting an existing labor code. Then your presentation. How do you go about your presentation? You are new your presentation and write it down. I'll see it in the morning. Since it's only one class for me, you can mark it, you can clarify if you have any questions. Oh, well, that is better. That is better. But like, well, quickly, like last time we did it. Only advantage is we discuss in detail, you will also learn more. But that library we don't have time. <laughs> Correct. Okay, I will try to cover up at least few of these. Yeah, they can be whatever is prepared, how it is prepared, how it can be prepared better. Whether it is prepared correctly or not correctly, that you can have. Don't worry about work, all of you, 20, 21, 22, that. Don't worry about work, I don't see you. Wait, wait, this is scientific. In the diagram, all of you can very good. So basically, we learn this diagram. So the three competency level, I, I, some more I lost it. One is technical competency, conceptual. Technical, oblique, functional competency. Human, interpersonal competency. Conceptual, ability competency. Second, human. Interpersonal. Yes, concept of building. I mean, without anything, you should be able to figure it out. You can't say that uh, I don't have an experience, I'm not working. I'm saying, come sit here, let me catch it. Let me dissect the problem. Right? I'm going to that. That's what we call concept. I take an eye off. One day is a giant, one is a district manager, one day is a corporation, one day is a They are not working in particular ones. So your startups are still so strong, you are still quickly able to adapt to it. So that you need more when you go up. You don't need to, people can try to pick the push around. You should be here like a bullseye, don't try to pick the push around, I'll throw you out of the meeting. 
इधर कंफ्यूज सुंदर कम प्रिपेयर और मैंने भी दो ट्रेड क्वेश्चन राइट इफ यू आर नॉट प्रिपेयर टू सेल मी आई एम नॉट ज्यादा पॉसिबल व्हेन यू आर कम टू दिस क्वेश्चन राइट आदर इज देयर ऑलवेज बाय वेट पीपल आर लाइक दैट नॉट आई नॉट दैट बट दे डोंट डू होमवर्क आर प्रॉब्ली यू नॉट बीइंग ट्रेन्ड सो नो व्हाट एवर वी डू टू योर टुडे वंस यू गॉट अ ट्रेनिंग टू कम दिस इज लाइक अ लिटिल मोर प्रैक्टिस You starting itself, you don't know how to go about it. Then you lost everything. Mm -hmm. If you know how to go about it, the second challenge is thinking little more deeply. The third challenge is making it still shorter. Like what we discussed today, probably I have to put it more. Even last night, last night, I have to put it thin again, thin shorter, thin shorter. The things are there. Hard work and sustain work is there. Initially, you need how to go about it. That is what your theory is supposed to be. Whatever model theory is across all subjects, you can see. So, when we talk about marketing, fine. We all models should help. At the end of the day, how many models and frameworks you should learn? Which model? If you are able to, you know, interconnect all the models. Yes, sir. Correct, yes, sir. But you guys forget it. Then the right exam mark again. But that is tough. Correct. We we came here to learn those things practically, sir. No, I'm not talking about my class only. I'm talking about two times. If you have two hundred framework, two hundred three hundred term only. Again, I'm talking about nobody will fail you. Fail you. Okay, I'm talking about two hundred three hundred. Nobody will fail you. They won't fail you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are failing yourself if you have not picked up two hundred models. You have not picked up two hundred three hundred ten models. You picked up everything is possible. Then we'll likely go back. We'll be able to link it and do something. Okay, guys, done. We'll see you. Thank you. Let's talk. Thank you. 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 Stop that. Stop that. No, it's the third edition. Double click it. Double click. Just double click on the slide. Shall I leave? Ah, uh, no. Shall I leave? Hmm. Shall I leave? Leave. Leave. Ah, uh, leave. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you tomorrow in accountancy class. Hi everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm Deepak. Bye everyone. I'm telling you. We will call them. Okay. Yeah, please. Sir. Oh, 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 oh,